So when we talk about the unit moves and when the co-captain signs the trucks in the order that you leave, it's important that you arrive in that order. And the reason why, because some trucks are pointing east, some trucks are pointing west, some are pointing north, some are pointing south. The co-captain has the plan. He's measured out the location. He's measured out the trucks and how they're going to fit. And you'll see in the video, the stairs unfolding. Uh, you'll see in the video, the hair and makeup trailer in the back part. And the purpose for that is easy access. And also for the ADs to have an eye on number one, number two, and where the wardrobe is and where the hair and makeup trailer is. So it's important and it's imperative that you follow the instructions from your co-captain on when you arrive. If you're number five leaving the lot, you're number five coming in. Not only for the parking, but sometimes the route coming in. Because it can be very difficult and challenging when you're in dark spots at nighttime dealing with trees. In our business, we don't park trucks like regular truck drivers do in truck lots. We park in areas that are difficult. They're in residential areas where we're looking for overhead wires, tree limbs, and everything else. So it's imperative that you follow the instructions because this is how it looks when you park a base camp. The wardrobe trucks are nosed in, the ramps are coming out, hair and makeup is the back, the AD office, the rooms are opened up in the two rooms, the stairs are dropped down. Everything's placed specifically for a reason, to make it more efficient, a base camp for people to get around safely and effectively. So these, this is what's required when you're doing unit moves. This is going to be in your kit. The first one is the vest. That lets you know, that lets people know so you don't get hit by cars at nighttime or during the day. The second is a, a change of shoes, work boots, and your work gloves right here. This is for dry, and this is for when it's raining because you want your hands dry at all times. Also, flashlight kit. For your, he for your helmet, your head, your, uh, your head, and a backup flashlight. This is uh, napkins. If you have to go to the bathroom, you never know. Sometimes you go to a rest area and they don't have paper in the washrooms. Handy wipes or wet wipes. You need this to disinfect the steering wheels when you're hopping in these vehicles. The, st the steering wheel, the shifter, the knobs. A pair of dry socks. You also need your pens, white out, scotch tape, everything you need to do, your deal memos, and you need a book to log every unit move that you've done, where you started, the date, where you're going from A to B, um, how long it took, and who was your captain and co-captain. Also, this is important too. This is my little trick. It works perfect. It's a water bottle, but you can carry your toothbrush in here and brush your teeth and have mouthwash with you. This is essential for your Unimove kit. And this is what you're going to carry when you do picture cars. This is what you're going to carry when you have, um, when you're driving talent. Always have this because you never know when you want to brush your teeth or change your boots or change your socks or anything like that. Or just clean your face, wipe the sweat off your neck or anything like that. But this is essential for everything that you need on a Unimove kit. But you start off with doing unit movers. And from there, you can branch out. The next, the next step is 